Hello, proceeding boldly. This video was filmed a little while ago, which is why some of the clips seem out of date. For example, our grass was mowed during this video. And also you guys have already met Sean, but it's just a little vlog style video that shows what daily life is like for us. So I hope you guys enjoy. Bobby is currently assembling our gourmet peanut butter and jelly. Mm. He just spilled the peanut oil all over himself, but it's already got it cleaned up. This is gonna be good fuel for our next adventure, which will be going out and killing all the wasps in our yard. We are greatly outnumbered and we're down three to zero. I've been stung twice, Bobby's been stung once, but today we're gonna to get some revenge. We're gonna go out and find them and we're gonna take them down. All right guys, so we made it outside. We have peanut butter and jelly in our bellies. We're feeling fueled up. And as soon as we came out the door, boom, we got wasps right there. They're our first target. First, I want to make sure I know how to work this thing. Shake well before you use it. I think that's it. Let's test the range. Doesn't it say it? 20 feet? I, I thought it did. Oh, that goes Ooh. pretty far. <laughs> All right, let's get him. Oh, this oh, there it is. That one's still alive. That ought to kill him. Oh, is that a is that one right oh, there? There's another one. Oh, that was just the <laughs> the, tape, so, the tape the tape got so, on me. Why are you so jittery? No, because I thought it was one and I got scared. <laughs> There's one right there. Is that, that's the same one. Is that the same one? I guess what we could do is we could just go melee style. I mean... Like this? This is like the... paralyzes them and then we just go and stomp them. Alright, so we've killed three. We're going over the gate now. There's a little house in here. I don't think there was any in there. Yeah, I don't think so either. This is where they got me. The first day I was looking at this house, two stung me when I moved this pole. So we're gonna circle around back. We're gonna the end of oh, there's their, there's their hole right there. I don't know if you can zoom in, but there's their little nest back in there that I see them come in and out of. I think what that'll do is it'll we'll trap them in. Try to come out there, we'll die. I've been trying to escape. I feel like we're almost out of juice already. <laughs> hey, if we run out of ammo, secondary line of defense. <laughs> Let's go around back. Three confirmed deaths. Three confirmed? Multiple assumed deaths. Yeah. So we're tied up, right? Three to three on this one. Yeah, there you go. They got us three times, we got three of them. Except uh, three deaths is a little bit worse than three stings. <laughs> What's up everyone? We're on the way to Tampa right now. The plan is to play some pickleball, but first we're gonna grab a bite to eat at Armature Works. It's a pretty cool local spot. But, special announcement, we have someone new to introduce to the channel. Yo, 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 what's going on? Sean Atkins, he's our third Proceeding Boldly member. This is his first feature film that he's going to be in. <laughs> so he's going to be there with us today. It should be a pretty fun night. So the cool thing about Armature Works is it didn't always look like this. This building was actually originally built in 1910, and it was used as a storage facility for the cable cars that ran through Tampa. And since then, it's been renovated multiple times and multiple businesses have owned it. And at one point in time, it was abandoned for a little while. And nowadays, it's used for office space and for some pretty cool places to eat. Let's check it out. All right. 
right, so here's the deal. We walked down the path as we were entering Armature Works and it was an overwhelming amount of food choices. So the only rule about this trip is that each of us has to order from a different restaurant. I have no idea what I'm personally gonna pick out. Sean, do you have any ideas on what you're gonna get? But I they have first. <laughs> All right, Sean's they, picking first. They have Mexican, Italian. They have uh, Greek. They have s'mores places. There's so many different spots and cuisines to choose from. It's very diverse. And I guess Sean is picking first. So yep. and Sean's hangry, so we're gonna go pick. We're going now. right Let's now. The camera. <laughs> <laughs> He's still really uncomfortable on camera. What you got? I got a cheeseburger empanada and I got a Tampa Girl empanada. This man is eating without us. We got our food right here. And then there's Sean. He looks so lonely. He looks so like depressed. <laughs> This is super cool. Always beautiful to see people designing things like this. Shout out to this artist right here. Follow this guy because that is a talented person and that's for a good cause. time to kill between Armature Works and Pickleball. We are going to head to the courts now. What happened? Sean lost the ticket. I oh, he got it, he got it. Someone got all riled up. Yeah, because we, yeah. Yeah. we told you to not lose this thing going into the parking garage because of what happened last guess time. guess what, I didn't lose it. We just got in his feelings way too quick. Put in the directions to the Pickleball court. Right. Dude, dude, dude! Stop! <laughs> you didn't even punch myself in the face. Dude, why are you hitting yourself, bro? Dude, what are you doing? So we're right next to U Tampa, and they have this super cool, like kind of sports complex where they have really nice tennis courts and pickleball courts. So once or twice a week, we usually come out here and play, and it's a good way to get exercise and enjoy the city life and hang out. I think these courts are pretty new, and they just installed lights on them, so we've been playing a lot at night. I heard pickleball is like the most up and coming sport right now. It's not the most mm, hardcore sport, you know, but it is fun to get out and get some exercise. The professional is here. Thank you so much. I was not about to play in these. Sean, what do you think? Do you think you'll perform tonight? I don't know. I've had some pretty good days and I've had some pretty bad days out here. But... How are you feeling today? I feel like I can take down that cocky blue Jeff over there. <laughs> Bobby, come over here. Sit down. How are you feeling about your first day out at the courts? Feeling pretty confident. Feeling pretty, pretty much like it's I'm in my area. You know, I'm in my own, I'm in my my own my own space. My headspace is right. My mentality's right. Yeah, confidence it's just, is everything. Yeah, it's just nothing. These guys don't know what's gonna come. They don't know what's gonna hit them. They're gonna come out there and they're gonna be like, "Wow, this guy's been training for years." Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I've been doing. Well, we're about to see. We'll have all this on film, so yeah, should be good. Yeah, maybe the camera might glitch out. So you just don't want to get your hopes up. <laughs> Nice 
volley, mom. Good play, Bobby. Put it away, Bobby. Let's go. What a point. I mean, I almost got smacked in the head. Man, Bobby's firing heat. Ooh, just missed it. It's first time. That's not bad, though. He's got a good forehand. Got beat 9-0. How do you feel about the loss? It was all his fault. I feel like it was the paddles. And the ball. And the, the loss. Yeah. I mean, they. To be fair, they had to deal with all the same stuff, and uh, they still beat us 9 but... We'll get him next time. <laughs> you guys are chugging that water. That's not good for you to drink that fast. All right, guys, we're back from Tampa, back from pickleball. It was a fun day, but it was exhausting. We're about to drink every last bit of water in this house and then hit the hay. Appreciate you guys watching and tuning in. We'll see you next time. Proceed boldly. Peace.